jumping on this my, my foot is planted has not moved at all which is a good thing I made out to uh, Yoshimura. They are huge in the motocross um, industry. The owner is a big avid mountain biker and uh, now they are making uh, parts for the mountain bike. So I'm here to pick up pedals and a stem. So I'm really stoked and do a tour. Nice to meet you, Yusaku? Yusaku? Yeah, nice to Tell meet me. you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. This is the owner right here <laughs> of uh, Yoshimura. Yeah. Hey YouTube, what's up? So I'm here with Big E. He's gonna give me a tour of this place. A lot of people think um, Yoshimura is uh, everything's made in Japan, which at uh, one time it was, but um, this is Yoshimura R&D of America. And we've been manufacturing, um, I think around the late 70s, we started doing our own manufacturing here. Yeah, Yusaku Yoshimura got the, the mountain bike bug and uh, now we make bicycle products, but uh, we're here in Chino, California. We've got about 100 employees that work at this location. Yeah, so just in the lobby here, we've just got a lot of the history, the superbike history, which you're looking at there. There was a 40 year relationship, 41 year relationship with Suzuki. And then this wall over here is kind of our Honda wall. That <laughs> so the cool thing is, is uh, Yusaki, the uh, president, um, is an avid mountain biker. So they started, uh, he started making pedals, big E rides too. Yep, I grew up racing BMX and I worked at GT bicycles back in the heyday in the 90s from like 89 to 2001. Back in 2017, when Yusaku went on his first mountain bike ride and got hooked, I was, he, he said he wanted to make bicycle <laughs> products, and I'm like, hey, I've done that before. Um, so then we just started rolling. You guys are gonna see the um, the stem and pedals. I think it's beautiful work of art. So I'm really stoked to get it on my bike. Big shout out to Yoshimura. They're gonna be giving all my subscribers 40% off on all apparel and merch. It's gonna be from today all the way to April 15th. Just use promo code T-Rex exclamation mark. They got tons of merch on the website, so go check it out. So over here is where we uh, we do all the packaging. And then you see over way over here, this is all staged to go to our distributors, oh. whether in the US or around the world. So is it made here? Yeah, we make everything here. Holy yep. shit. Oh, yeah, wow. from raw materials. Holy Just like shit. the pedals. Yeah, 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 no way. And stems. Hell yeah. <laughs> We oh, have wow. the capacity to build about 175 to about 230 mufflers a day. So this is called muffler packing. You push your muffler. You're busy putting the mufflers together here. Um, that's Elias over there. Elias has worked here. He's one of our oldest employees. He's been here 33 years. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Made in the USA, right there. Yeah. This is a sheet of stainless. Yeah. And uh, you see how efficient it is yeah. with the material. Honda Monkey uh, heat shield. Just uh, it's super accurate every time. And this is a, a two-stage uh, media blast. This is another state-of-the-art technology. So it's a fiber laser. The robot comes from behind the door, and you can actually watch it. Oh wow! That's the robot right there on yeah, the TV. Yeah, yeah. This is our canister department, so this is where we roll a lot of the mufflers. Wow. So this one rolls more of a flat surface, and this is more of a conical roll. Yeah. A little bit of a different shape. Put a nice little stitch on them right here. Nobody makes a muffler bracket like this, like with the stress relief. Yeah. It's just a beautiful, it's a piece of art. Take welding over oh, here. Wow. Look at his work area. It's clean, super huh? clean. <laughs> Crazy. I didn't even realize how much produced a day. And over here, this is our stamping department. Here, this is where we do all our carbon fiber. Carbon oh, fiber. It's prefreg, so it has to be kept at a very cool temperature. Yeah, so nice. this freezer over here, it's minus one degree. So this Holy is where we keep all the carbon. 12K is the, the fiber, Got the it. material that. So heat hardens it? Is that what Heat happens? and pressure. You can it feels have like, almost like leather. On it. That's a 12K carbon. Oh, you can do gloss or now. matte. This is the oven for carbon right here. This right here is pedals for sure. Only like stems right here. Pedals. Oh, there's some pedals being made right now. Oh, no way. Hell yeah. Like this is kind of the different stages. This is the first operation. Second operation, I think, is this one. Mm -hmm. The operator can actually uh, get this one set up. And so when it's ready, it'll just spin around. So about three times a week, our, uh, our recycler comes by and coat this is a Cerakoting coating on this end. Uh -huh. And then we're going to turn it one more time to make sure it's completely straight. But this wow. is all made in-house, too. 
This isn't a chromoly steel either. It's actually an alloy steel that we developed. It's just about the same weight as chromoly, but stronger, has a little bit more resilience to it. So you can see the finished product. The consumer yeah. will never see this, but just the attention to detail is just crazy. But this is where Yusaku works his magic on the pedals and last wow. set of ninja bodies right there. Jeez. Purple, gold, black, blue, red. These are the uh, Aegis bushing that we use. This is a uh, Japanese bearing. This is, uh, every other bearing would just blow apart on us. And uh, this Japanese bearing that we buy is just the highest quality and it lasts really, really long. So it's That's one of the, the reasons pedals, the pedal's right? so expensive yeah. because there's so many quality materials going into it. Got it. And down here, just some extra bodies and these are stem pieces that are getting laser etched. I think we built everything. When you order a stem, it comes in this comes box. In Boxes are made here in the US. Uh, look at this, I wanna show you something. Taking the spindle, you see your pedal wobbling? Yeah. The spindle's not straight. Oh shit. Feel it? Yeah. Yeah, so that spindle's not straight, so it was it was not made right. Right. Or you bent it. Probably bent it. Show you the difference, now look at our pedal. Oh yeah. You feel it straight? Yeah, perfectly it's straight. It's not turning. Another thing, um, our, our pins are made out of 7075 aluminum. So if you ever strike, do a rock strike, or hit something really a blunt object, they're made to shear, break right off. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's literally like a work of art, it's like jewelry. So I am pretty particular with my pedals. So the last two bikes I have been riding on the Hope pedals. Probably one of my favorite pedals of all time have been the 26 Predator pedals. They were really expensive. They were like $280. These remind me a lot about them. So they, they are concave as well. Aluminum pins, so very similar. All blinged out, like just work of art as well. All right, so I'm really stuck on this. So this product is unlike any other stem out there. It's very similar to a DH stem. Where it goes on to the steer tube is gonna be running a little bit lower. It's gonna make the, the stem a lot stiffer. This is gonna be wider as well. So I can't wait to get this on my bike. It's a DH stem. Now it's conventional stem. So this base basically is uh, converts it to, to make it work on a regular steer tube. And this is the, the DH portion of it. Oh, you can bolt it right to a direct mount. No way. That's uh, engineering genius right there. That's him. No way. <laughs> oh, you designed it? Yeah, yes I did. No way. That is crazy. So this is, uh, this is Yusaku Yoshimura. His He's granddad started this thing back in 1954, and now we're making mountain bike parts. <laughs> yeah, thanks to this guy right here. Yep. All right, let's take this old stem off. All right. Like this is your engagement for your stem here, right. and this is the the difference that you're like it's half. So we'll be able to go when we stick this guy on. That's how much steer tube's going to be sticking out. Maybe a spacer or two high up here. That way, if you want to move it up and down a little bit, you can. A little bit above that 150. Right. I'm gonna go make this smooth. Oh, baby. Wow. Like a factory, holy shit. Butter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get these bars on. Damn. Okay, the, I'm just gonna snug this. Snug this guy. Just maybe just get the bars kind of like where you think they might be. Is this a different torque up here? Yeah, so these are 10 uh -huh. and this is five. Flush Start with the two. back Got it. and hit this one uh -huh. and then go to the front. YouTube, what's up? So I'm out at Santiago Oaks. I'm gonna be taking out the decoy today. I'm test riding the Yushimur uh, pedals and this stem. I just met Al here. He's just walking his dog. Yeah. And he watches the channel. Yeah, man. Right, right? Best, brother. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> Al broke his ankle. 20 got seven pins there. Yeah. One big old screw right there. Where did you break it on? Out here, man. Yeah. Oh man, it's a pleasure, uh, yeah. bro. Seriously, ah, likewise, man. man. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, it's e bike time. Let's turn this on. 
all right so i'm solo today so i'm just gonna go full boost one thing i could tell is like the the pedal body is like right next to the crank so puts my foot closer to the uh inside the bike which is awesome i'm gonna ride it on a uh, eco i don't like to go downhill on boost it's just too weird this is jaka Jumping on this, my, my foot is planted. It's not moved at all, which is a good thing. So it's good. Now I'm gonna boost this up the hill. I'm taking my family to Palm Springs, so I might be able to get a ride in this week. Squeeze in a quick ride between lunch and dinner today. Probably the biggest benefit of having an e-bike is just knocking out laps super fast if you're on limited time. I'm gonna hit this Charles Hawk. This Charles is gonna be a little bit more chunky, so I wanted to try something that has a bunch of jumps. Let my feet stand the pedals, and I try something chunky. Am I not going the wrong way? Is this Hawk? Have a good one. So bad at directions. Just this doesn't seem like it's hot. Remember that? What is that? Well, this is probably not hot. If you know the trail name, leave it in the comment section. Uh, this looks heavier suspension. People think I'm bullshit when I say I'm really bad with directions, but I really am. All right. Hope I don't get lost on this trail. This is um, this is waterfall. Come on, Eagle. So far, foot is like completely planted. If I wanted to move my foot, foot around, I still can. Which is always a good thing. It's not easy to move your foot around. That's how I like it. I personally like it. Put the short pins in the center. Some more concave. Man, it's so fast and easy to get around here with a e-bike. Hey YouTube, what's up? I am out in Palm Springs. I am uh, hanging out at the pool. I'm here with my family. My daughter's spring break. Had a group ride uh, on Sunday. It was a blast. Thanks to everybody that came out. Hope to do another one in a few months. So if you didn't make that last one, uh, hope you can make the next one. I brought my pedals today and I wanted to do a review on them. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm gonna start off with the Yushimura stem since I don't have that with me. I love that stem because it looks like nothing else like it on the market. The stem could be used as a regular stem mounted to the steer tube or as a direct mount DH stem. It's engineered to be stiffer. I love the looks of it. And then I also got the titanium oil slick better bolts. Um, big shout out to Better Boats. They're giving a discount to all my subscribers. So if you are interested in Better Boats, go onto the website. Use promo code TREX15 for 15% off. So these are the Yushimura Chileo pedals. So I'm really particular with my pedals. So I brought all my other pedals with me today. These are the 26 Predator pedals and I have it on my DH bike. These are the Hope F20 pedals, which is on the Yeti. To compare the size and everything, this is the Chileo. They're all very, very similar in size and weight. As far as price, the Hope F20s are $180. The Yoshimura is $199. And then the 26 pedals are $285. They're definitely all really higher end pedals. I've ridden other brands and I've bent spindles and things like that. These have been solid and uh, so has these. These so far I've only had one ride in them and I freaking love them. I'm very particular about my pedals. The one thing that I love most about the Predator is that they're concave. So I'm not sure you could pick this up, but the center is a little bit lower than the two ends. So it's kind of like concave where your, your shoe will fit in the center really well. Uh, the whole pedals are not really that concave. They are, but barely. So what I did is that I took out the center pins and it becomes more concave and it made a huge difference in the way that they grip. So with the Yushimura, these are gonna be more concave than the Hopes and more similar to the Predators. I took out the center pins 
I put in the uh, center pins that I use on my uh, Predator pedals. They are shorter than these, so it makes it more concave. Yushimur makes shorter pins, and they're sending me the shorter ones, but I don't, I didn't have them for my ride. These things stick so good. The pedals are designed to kind of float, meaning that they're gonna stick your shoe, especially if you wear like 510s or a mountain bike specific shoe with good rubber. These are designed that to where you can move your foot around so they can float. I want it a little bit more sticky because I do ride a lot of chunky stuff and I hate getting chin strikes. I'll show you my, my shins. So if you see my shins, they're all pretty jacked up. I get a ton of pedal strikes, so I don't like my foot slipping off at all. I'm gonna run smaller pins in the center, but if you run them all the same length, don't get me wrong, they're gonna stick really well, but you can also adjust it. And that's the way that they're designed for, and that's how I would say most people like it. But again, I want my foot to be stuck and not be able to move it. One thing that I love most about Yoshimura is that these are made in the USA. The cool thing is this made in California here. The attention to detail, the way that everything is made and designed, the spindle is solid. There's Japanese bearings in there. They're sealed. These are gonna last you a lifetime. They're $199. They're solid. A lot of people thought I was crazy to, to buy Predator pedals. These are $285. I've had these now for six or seven years and they've been, they've been beat the hell up. You could see. I'm gonna ride a lot of chunky stuff so they've held up. I don't have any regrets with these pedals. Uh, and I know I'm not gonna have any regrets with this. If you're interested in the Yushimura pedals, so go on to the website and you can order them there. Yeah, thanks again. I had a blast with the group ride. I appreciate all the love and support. All right, till next time, peace.